Are you gaining presents? Long and I <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Flong Play's Never Ending Nightmares. <laughs> now I have seen this game around and I remember I played uh, a little bit of the demo and stuff like that when it was originally out. But now, oh, now I'm going to play the full game for you guys. So hopefully you guys are ready for this. I'm going to check everything to make sure that I've got everything correct. I'm going to go ahead and run this in 1920 by 1080. Alrighty. I uh, should be able to go back. Yep. Graphics quality. Extreme. Mostly because I know that the graphics in this game are just kind of black and white and red and everything. Why not? Sound options. Rumble on. Uh, key bindings. Okay. Interact is space or enter left. Okay. We'll go ahead and go with that. All right. All right. So we'll go back and we're going to go ahead and hit play. We strongly recommend playing this game with headphones. You have We have a special audio processing mode designed for headphones that creates the best experience. It doesn't work if you're using speakers. Would you like to enable it? Um. Ooh, hello. Things got a little louder for me. Okay. Alrighty then. So it looks like, um, when a game starts off with a kid getting stabbed in the abdomen, I think maybe, I think maybe that that's a sign that this is going to be an interesting game. Alright, it looks like I'm not going to be using the mouse too much with this game, so I'm going to basically just be using the keyboard. Uh, so it looks like I'm just going to kind of be exploring a house. See what's going on. Can I interact with anything? Hello. Uh, I definitely love the art style for this game. I hope that you guys do too because it's very creepy. And, uh, I mean, it looks like pencil drawing pretty much. And, uh, so I'm really, I'm really intrigued by the story behind this game. Because I've, I've read up a little bit on it and it seems to be kind of like this guy... Okay, everything that happens basically is in this guy's mind, I guess. Alright. Everybody looks like they're staring directly into my soul. Thank you very much for that. Are you going to look... Blink. One of you guys, blink. I'm in a staring contest. They win. Because it's a freaking painting. It sounded weird. I can hear things. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I can hear him. Well, hello, Mr. Snooty Gentleman. What the hell is he drinking? He must be drinking a bottle of sweet, sweet beer. That's exactly what I've always wanted is some sweet, sweet beer. All right, so we're in the library, it looks like. Ooh, a book. A book, eh? Oh, I believe that that's a... Latin version of the Bible? That's kind of weird. Uh, Infinim pro sespione marduna psalms David. Yeah, I'm guessing that that's David's book of the book of David. I don't know, maybe. I might be wrong. And also, it looks like there's candles right up there in the bookshelves. That does not seem safe since you've got books right there. That's a fire hazard. That's another fire hazard. Um, I'm going to have to uh, call the inspector at some point in time. There will be a fire inspector that will have to come to this house. Everything's lit by candle. It's a fire hazard. Everything is a fire hazard. Well, hello, turkey, vulture, face. I don't know what the hell that is. That is some sort of, um, is that a... Is that a per- Okay, then. Okay, I can run. I keep forgetting I can run. Is there- Can I go in there? 
Hey, I'm just gonna stand right here. Nobody can see me. All right. Well, I like the uh, the skull paper in the background there. That's always nice. It's not wallpaper. It's the skull paper. All right. So this is me exploring my house, finding all the creepy little things here and there that make this game creepy as all form of hell. Fah! Oh my god. I knew something like that would happen. That was sort of like the hallway in Resident Evil where the dogs jumped through the window. I was like, well, something's gonna happen here in the original Resident Evil. And then I had a friggin' heart attack. So, yep, I just had another heart attack. Thank you, game makers, for giving me multiple heart attacks throughout my 27 years of being alive. Oh, did I do that? Should I pick it up? Nope, I can't pick it up. Never mind. I'm just gonna leave that alone. If the ghosts are not gonna... Okay, sure. That's either disgusting or delicious looking. I can't tell which one. I do love the fact that since everything's in black and white, the red stands out very, very much. And there's... And, yeah. So the red just is just... Oh, amazing. All right. You know, the, the art style to this reminds me of, like, where the wild things are and stuff like that. And I really, really like the art style. So... Okay. Sure. Let's take a walk through the woods at night. Because, you know, nothing bad's ever happened when you walk through the woods at night. Ever. It just never happens. Something's going to come out of one of these holes. Oh, righty then. Okay. There's a lot of dead people here. Alrighty. And then this. Gabby, no. You're still sleeping? You promised we'd meet for breakfast. Huh? Oh. Are you okay? You look upset. I'm sorry. I, I just had a terrible nightmare. I dreamt you were dead. <laughs> That's silly. I'm fine. Besides, you always promised you'd take care of your little sister. Well, that was when we were kids. It's still true, isn't it? Yeah. Why don't you try to get back to sleep? I'll wait outside. Alright. Something tells me that something's not right here. It just might be me. But something tells me with his shifty eyes that this is not right. Alright, let's go in here. Ooh, okay. Why is there blood in my sink all of a sudden? Okay, that's teeth. Okay, that's teeth. If there's one thing that you guys should know, I am frightened of things to do with your mouth or your eyes. Those are the things that scare me the most. And so if it includes any of those things, what in the hell happened to all the paintings? Skulls, vultures, and meat. And Colonel Sanders, uh, young Colonel Sanders. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah yes. Hanging people. Jesus, who put the paintings in here? Okay, let's go in here. What the f... Uh, hello, you have a skull in your hand. I just kind of wonder if these paintings might be the, uh, the, the developers of the game, maybe? I don't really know. I don't know much about this game. All I know is that it's really, really cool looking, and I really wanted to play it. And so, of course, I'm playing it. All right, so there's a staircase there, and then there's a dark, dark corridor here. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. I just kind of wonder. Okay, so that's all boarded up. Okay, let's go up here. I won't go down in there until I check to see what the hell is going on in here. Okay, what's in here? All right, toy soldiers and teddy bears and... Hello, everything. What's in here? Another bathroom. Looks like everything kind of loops around. I like how there's a soldier just sitting on the toilet over there. Oh, okay, why is that rocking horse rocking? Why are there dolls? I freaking hate dolls. I can't look at the dolls. 
I'm kind of glad I can't look at the dolls. One of them is going to grab my leg, aren't they? Yeah, that's going to happen. The hell? Look at the little cuckoo clock. Okay. That's a demented cuckoo clock. Alrighty. Looks like I'm walking through the dark even more. I don't know where I'm headed. It looks like I'm after Gabby. Alrighty then. I'm just going to keep walking and just pretend like nothing was out the window right there because it scared me a little bit and I'm going to die now. Please don't kill me. This is another long hallway, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now where am I going now? All right, guys. What's happening? All right. All right. There's another door here that I can go into. All right. Sewing machine. And... Um... Dolls that are, I mean, mannequins that people can put clothes on. Okay, cool. All right, well, what's who's this guy? Another classy gentleman with two glasses of liquor. That means he's... Oh, okay, I swore I heard something was following me. All right, well, this is kind of the dead end. So if nothing's in here... Okay, what's up here? There's, I can tell there's something written on the wall, but I can't quite tell what it is. I need a candle. Do it. See, I need to take one of these candles. That's, oh, there we go. Look at that. I needed a candle. Found a candle. Alrighty. So let's go in here now, and we can see what's written on the wall. Okay. Wow, that music's gotten really... Oh, okay. Um... My God, why have you forsaken me? And I believe that is my dead body. Okay, you don't want to look at the dead body of yourself laying there. No. Um. Alrighty. Um. We're just going to disregard the fact that you're laying there dead. Okay? <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh, f Um. There is someone behind you, buddy. Uh, she's gone now, kind of, I think. Okay, that was really messed up. Um, okay. Is it just me or the paintings kind of changing here and there? All right. All right, so nothing's down this hallway. I hear really weird creaking noises, though. I don't like it. Fuck. Again with that? What is going on out there? What is going back and forth across my, like, awning roof area? All right, so I guess I continue down the... I don't like that sound. Everything's breathing in my ear really weird. It's kind of strange. Kind of strange. Grant... Was that scratching? Please don't kill me. Like my own dead body back there. That would be pleasant. Okay, now I guess I can go down in here because it's the only place I haven't gone yet. Alright. I've got my candle. So if, if, if push comes to shove, I will light everything on fire. This whole house will go down with me. All right. What do I got down in here? Okay, there's a lot of darkness down in here. All righty. I guess I don't need that anymore. Um, what? Um, ah, Jesus. Okay. Did they did did they really need to oh, okay, that was disturbing. I guess I can pick up this axe. Oh now I got something to defend myself with. Oh 
I bet I can tear down the... Okay, yeah, the paintings have changed. The lights are now going off behind me. I better run. I know that I run out of breath really easily, so I don't think I'll run too far. That is really creepy that the lights are going off behind me, though. Okay. I hear chains and thumping. There's a ghost behind me that is going to murder my family and me. Alright, well, let's destroy this. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. Up the stairs. Keep your axe with you so that you don't die. Jesus, this is intense for a little game like this. Alright, now I'm up in the attic. Alrighty then, um... Get... Gabby? Uh oh! Um... Okay... Alrighty then... Um, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and call it here because this is a really good place to call it. Because I think if I go any further, it might take a little too long to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. But this has been Vlog Playing Never Ending Nightmare. And uh, I am definitely looking forward to continuing this game. And I probably will right after I cut this. So uh, remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And also remember to check out our fundraiser for the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching that video. Click in the upper left to subscribe and then check out Among the Sleep. I got my shoe. I'm going to use it. After that, check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel and then check out Portal 2. You gotta shoot the red one, I believe. So here I go. Also, make sure you click on the Brain and Behavior logo so that you guys can understand the charity drive that we're doing. Thanks and goodbye.